Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? My name is Dr. and welcome to a, a little bit of a dark video about some illegal stuff uh, going on on Steam and some illegal stuff going on um, with um, people who promote that. So let's uh, let me explain what we're getting into today. It's really simple. Um, we have people that are asking money for their mods, which is against Steam EULA. That's basically the terms of service of Steam. And it's also against Wildcard's um, terms of service. That's what this video is going to be about. I also have content creators, uh, huge content creators who are actually promoting this, which we'll take a look at as well. Um, so yes, I'm going to call out some pretty big names. Um, I'm going to call out some people who are um, who are claiming um, this is okay and who are actually doing some really shady shit. So this is going to be a little bit of a dark video. But, you know, this stuff is illegal and I think somebody should say something about it. Um, I have used all my connections to make sure I'm not talking nonsense. Um, so I know for a fact what these guys are doing is illegal. That's why I'm sticking to these two mods I'm um, calling out. Because I know for a fact what they are doing is illegal uh, through the connections I have. So let's go. So the first one we're going to talk about is Wet Batman. Um, Wet Batman made a security mod. Arc better service security. Nothing wrong with it, you would say. Um, so what does this guy do? Usually, let me explain how this works. If you, in case you never run a ARC server, if you never moderated one or was an owner of one or whatever, when let's say you have you own a ARC uh, ARC survival evolved server, and you have a giant douche on your server, um, you ban that guy, right? And then you get rid of him. But if he has another account with, um, you know, with Ark on that, he can come back and continue what he was doing. So you might need to ban him a couple of times to get rid of him. A little bit annoying that you know bans our account of our yeah our account bound, but not. Uh, there is a good reason why it works the way it does. So what did Wet Batman created? Wet Batman created a um, banning system for you know Ark service. That is a player IP ban, so a personal IP ban. I do not know exactly if this is against terms of service and against use and uh, EULA. I think it does because your IP, your personal IP of your computer, that's your personal information. My problem is with anybody running this mod can actually see your personal IP and they can come after you. If you have a hacker, they can literally come after you. You're normally protected by your Steam ID. Not If I ban you, if you join my server, I cannot see your personal IP. This mod can. It's very dangerous. I don't know if it's illegal. I do think it's very dangerous because it's exposing your personal IP out everywhere. Um... Then, when it comes down to why is this thing, why is this mod illegal? Well, here do we go. Um, he just changed it. Oh, that's so funny. He says, uh, legal. The only purpose of this mod is to transmit data. It will transmit data regardless if you purchase the plugin or not. The plugin is provided as a... It's bullshit. He's completely bullshit. Um, so, what did he do? To get this mod working, you need to buy the plugin. And if we click on the link, I already opened it. Here it is. You need to buy the um, plugin, and that's 33 US dollars. This is the part where it's illegal. It's against Steam's EULA, which is Steam, uh, Steam's terms of service, to make money of mods. It's also against Wildcard's te uh, terms of service to make money of mods. So this guy is illegal as hell. And the reason how he did this is like, you could subscribe. This says subscribe right here in Dutch. Sorry, my Windows is in Dutch. I'm from the Netherlands, so that's why it says Dutch. But this is, um, it says subscribe here in Dutch. You can subscribe to the um, mod for free and download it, but it will not act activate until you have the plugin. For the plugin, you need to pay, and he thinks that's a loophole. But it also says in Steam's EULA and in Wildcard terms of service that it's not only about the mods, it's only it's also about the plugins. So he's lying. This is not a loophole. He's being illegal as hell. So I called him out on that and I had a um, Discord um, chat with him, which I'm going to show you guys right now. So we're going to swap over to Discord. And I called him out on this. Um, I, re I wrote down a normal post. And he said... Sure, everybody can have opinions, so he doesn't, uh, and I respect yours. 
highly doubt it, but okay, he says he does. However, um, I used PyCon in, in this text as an example that, you know, there are great mothers who are, you know, making, like PyCon makes Primal Fear for free and the people should take an example of that instead of asking money for them much. And he, his response is, however, PyCon and other mothers do this as a hobby. I on, the, I, on the other hand, am a freelancer and modding games is my main source of income. The, uh, like other devs on Arc Service IPI, uh, API. Okay, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call him really quickly out on that. You're lying, because there is no such thing. Because it doesn't exist. You're making a term up. Uh, you're giving yourself the title of being a paid modder, like a freelancer, and modding games is my main source of income. He's kind of making this stuff up. So how does this guy work? This is a guy that will do stuff. Um, for example. I'm just going to name this as an example. Um, you play, let's just keep mods out of it. Even on a normal server, this guy will con you. So what do people like him do? So they run a ARC unofficial server. Let's say it's completely standard. Let's say there's nothing in there. No mods, nothing. What does he do? You want to say, let's have a, um, let's say you want to have a, um, a fabricated sniper rifle. Yeah, a fabricated sniper rifle. You're like, hey, you're looking to, through your blueprints, you're high level enough, you have the materials, but hey, you cannot craft this. Um, so you reach out to this guy, you think to, hey, admin, um, I'm trying to craft this fabricated uh, sniper rifle, but uh, I cannot craft it. And he's like, yeah, you need to pay for that. We'll unlock that for you if you pay 10 bucks. That's how these guys work. Or you want to have a Giga, but you cannot find a Giga. And you're like, no, there are. And he will be like, no, we don't have Gigas on the, uh, you know, we don't have Gigas roaming free. You need to pay for your Giga. So if you pay me five bucks or 10 bucks or whatever, you know, he thinks, we'll spawn in a Giga, uh, a spawn a tame Giga for you. We'll give you a Giga. This is how these people work. They will, you know, hide things behind paywalls. That's what they do on their servers. That's what they do with their mods. These people doing illegal stuff because once again, that is illegal. He is not a freelance modder, at least not for Ark. There's no way he can make an income of that. Well, he can, but it's illegal. So if he makes, maybe there are other games where he can mod for, would actually, you know, where it's allowed to ask money for. So in that regard, he could be a freelance modder if there are i don't know if there are any games out there that are actually okay with you asking money for that month when it comes down to arc though um he shouldn't it's illegal it's against wildcard terms of service and steam eula so when it comes down to that he's lying through his teeth um so yeah there you go con artists those people take advantage of gullible people and try to steal their money by doing illegal shit they're just just as bad as somebody who's stealing your wallet on the street they're just street robbers Con artists, you know, frauds, these people do not belong here. So let's dive into the second part of the other mod. And here's where we're getting into touch with content creators. Because this is the same thing going on. This is um, ArcShop interface, ArcShop, ArcShop UI v0.96 main. This does the same thing. They have a UI mod. Uh, nothing wrong with that. But you need a plugin to make that work the plugin costs a whopping if i'm correctly 150 dollars so yeah once again hiding the mod behind a plugin and this costs 150 dollars to get this mod to work again illegal against steamula against wildcard and wildcard terms of service what is my problem with this? And this is where we're getting into um, people that are actually making content, the content creators. Froggy Man Gaming, the sidekick of King Daddy Dmac, he is using this mod. Uh, let's read what he has to say, shall we? I just want to say this is an amazing mod. I wanted something special for me and my other partners, fans who play on our series streaming and YouTube service, King Daddy Dmac. Every night, Ryx, and of course me, Froggy Man. Between this and the plugin, it's amazing. Yes, the plugin is not free, but um, it is worth it. 
Yes, it is 100% worth it. This is not me uh, meant for someone and a few friends. This is meant for people who have a bigger community who want to offer something unique and special. Also, the RPS plugin is a must as well. The creator is very talented and everything works amazing. I don't care how amazing and talented you are as a creator of modding. This shit is illegal. Once again, you're going against Steam Eula and against Wildcarm's terms of service. And Froggyman is promoting that he's thrown King Daddy Dmax's name in this. This is crazy that a really big content. He also throws in every night riot uh, in there. It is crazy to me that really big content creators like King Daddy Dmax, Froggyman, Every Night Riot, that the that these guys are promoting illegal stuff on Steam, which is against Wildcard Terms of Service and Steam U, uh, Steam's Terms of Service, and they're promoting this, and they're willing to pay one hundred and fifty dollars for it, because I know for a fact, and I really swear I know for a fact because I have inside information I, I have connections to Primal Fear that King Daddy DMAC and Frogman never ever donated a single dollar to for example and this is just an example for uh, to Primal Fear they actually reached out to Bicon the creator of Primal Fear to change things in the Primal Fear mod because it would be better for their videos and their streams so you have people like Froggy, like Froggy Man Gaming, like King Daddy DMAC making thousands and thousands of dollars of a mod like Primal Fear, which is a free to play, free to download mod. And they never even donated, they never even did a, you know, stream or an awareness stream or an awareness video for the Primal Fear mod. They never even tried to help getting primal fear into um the arc sponsored program because you know you're a really big content creator i bet you can contact wildcard i bet they have contact they have contacts at wildcard they could try to help get primal fear into the sponsored program which it's not you can actually check me on that you can look it up yourself primal fear is not sponsored you could do these things you could make a video like hey let's to your audience hey let's help vote primal fear into the sponsored program you could do you could send people like, hey, if you like Primal Fear, you can down and you can donate over there. He, these guys never did that. They never ever did. Yet they are more than happy to pay one hundred fifty dollars uh, for an illegal um, mod and actually promote it. Write down comments like this, and I'm I wrote this down. This was my response. I wrote this down a couple hours ago, like an hour ago to be exact. Asking money for a mod plugin is against Steam Eula, and it's sad, it's sad to see that people like Froggy Man and other YouTube YouTubers slash content creators are promoting this, especially when those content creators, uh, the same content creator, um, when those content creators, the same content creators, Froggy Man, Daddy Dmac, never even donated to Primal Fear, but have no problem making huge amounts of money of that month and never go out of their way to ask the owner of Primal Fair to change things because it's better for their videos and streams, which got declined, of course. Um, sad to see that they're willing to pay 150 bucks for something that's illegal and breaking EULA and promoting it uh, when they uh, never even bothered to donate to a mod like Primal Fear, they made huge money off. My point is that don't trust this because Frogman or any content creator is using this slash promoting this. It's still illegal and they have no interest of or care for anything as long as it's uh, for their own benefit and their own income slash wallets. That's how I feel about it. And this is just... it. it well, it kind of... I'm using Primal Fear as an example. Don't get me wrong. They're using way more mods than just Primal Fear. I know that King Daddy DMAC uh, switched to a new Dino mod recently. The reason I'm not naming all the mods is because I do not know if they donate or pay those modders. I do not know. I cannot tell you. If they donate to the, the new Dynamo he has now, I don't know which one he has. I know he has a new one. Um, I cannot tell. I only have connections in Primal Fear. So I can only speak from the experience of Primal Fear I have. So I do know for a fact that King Daddy DMAC and Froggy Man never donated to Primal Fear. I do for a fact that they do know the owner of Primal Fear. So I do know how things work in there. 
So I'm using that as an example, but I'm pretty sure uh, King Daddy D Mac and Frogman, and I know there are loads of other YouTubers that you are using mods, and they never, they probably don't donate to that. But I do not know that for a fact. I don't know if they are donating to S Plus. I don't know if they're donating to um, Awesome Talk, but I don't know. I don't have connections there. I do have connections in Primal Fear, and I do know what's going on there. And, you know, if you're making that many Primal Fear videos uh, and you never donate, you never even make a supporting video. Um, but you do do promote illegal stuff. That was kind of where I draw the line. When I saw Froggy Man um, promoting this um, and $150 mod, which is illegal, and you did not ever did something good for Primal Fear when it comes down to... Um, making a promoting video or a stream or donating something to it. I was like, this is so, this is wrong in my opinion. Like, here, I'll pay $150. What? Oh, hold on. I made shit on some money of a mod that's made for free. Nah, I'm not going to do anything with that. It's just wrong. But my point across all of this is that these modders, slash double OO and this other guy, uh, Wet Batman, they're doing illegal stuff. Yes, I want everybody to ask to vote this stuff. Oh, I'm not logged in right now. Um, so you need to be logged into your Steam. I could do that here, but I already did that here, as you can see. Vote this stuff down. Please vote it down, report it to Steam. Um, we already put out feelers and we already talked to Steam through connections and they said like, yes, we are kind of where we are working on um, a shit ton of these people. There are so many. And we're working on some really big fish right now. And we're hoping at some point to get to these guys as well. Um, so basically, there is a mountain of people out there who do this kind of sh stuff. So this video, first of all, spread awareness. Downvote this. Warn people uh, for this. Do not join service with uh, Slash OO and the other guy, um, Red Batman. If you know he's running a server... Or, you know, don't trust their word. They're con art artists, they're liars, they're scammers. Don't trust them. Stay away from them. Warn your friends, warn anybody if they know them. Do not pay for mods or for plugins. For the love of God, don't do it. It's illegal. Don't support these guys. They do not deserve it, please. Um, secondly, stay away from the service they're hosting. Um, don't trust what anybody... Even if, you know, people like Froggy Man are saying it, doesn't mean it's it's all right. doesn't mean it's it's... Uh, legal it's not so my video is to warn you and my video and uh, my video is about um exposing these guys so there you go hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i know a lot of people did not want to hear this probably but it is how it is i wanted to report the facts so there you go have a great day be safe on new year's eve and i'll hope to see you guys very soon bye bye